Hi, my name is Ryan and today at Scottsdale RV we're presenting to you a 2004 Winnebago Adventurer model 33V on the workhorse chassis. We're going to start right back here. We've got the central air. It's a basement air so you have no rooftop AC on this. Um, it also functions as a heat pump uh, throughout the RV. It gives you a lower center of gravity as well as uh, increased efficiency because it's not directly in the sunlight. As we move forward here, we've got your LP tank right here. Right here we've got an exterior entertainment center, CD, uh, speakers, radio as well. We've got some storage right up here. In this compartment right here we've got a control for the patio awning. You can also control it inside the motorhome as well. You've got your dual electric entry step right there. Right here we've got your uh, gas electric water heater. Your water pump is in this compartment valve for winterizing is in this compartment and also your fresh water drain is in this compartment. As we walk around towards the uh, other side of the RV, you've got your power mirrors right here. Your engine access right here. Up front here you've got your coolant fill, your air filters up here, your engine oil check, your engine oil dipstick and fill, uh, your transmission fluid dipstick. Windshields look free of any chips or stones. Walk around to this side, you've got your entry door. Driver's entry door, very handy when fueling up. You don't gotta go outside the side door, you can just come right outside the RV here. Right here you've got three storage basements. It's nice too, they pull out with the slide out so you're not reaching underneath the slide out, banging your back, that kind of thing. As we walk back here, you've got your fuel fill right here right behind the rear tire. Right here you've got your water station, your sewer station, you've got your outside shower, your city water fill, you've got a black tank flush here to rinse out your black tank. You've also got a water pump switch here and your two valves for emptying your gray and black tank. The next basement here we've got is your 50 amp cord with your automatic generator switch right there. And right here we've got your Onan Marquis Gold 5500 watt gasoline generator. Well that's a quick, uh, quick do on the outside, let's go inside now. Alright, welcome to the inside. Uh, we'll start right here in the cockpit area. You've got your window control here for your power window. You've got your heated mirror switch. You've got your power mirrors left and right. Right here you've got your power visors. You've got a power driver visor and a power passenger sun visor. CB radio. You've got your front slide out switch for in and out right here. Your park brake is down below that and your battery boost right here which creates essentially jumper cables between your engine batteries and your house batteries. You've got your HWH hydraulic leveling system right here, your headlight control, fog lamps, your overdrive on and off, all your cruise control is all right here on this stick right here as well as your wiper control. Your hazard is right above here. Here's your uh, transmission selector. You've got your horn right here. Color backup camera right here. Dash AC and heat control. You got defrost fan right here. Coach heater right here. Radio power switch to run the dash radio either on your engine power or your house batteries. And you've got a start and stop for the generator right here. As we go up top here, you've got your TV here. You got your surround sound speakers throughout the motorhome. Right in this cabinet up here, you've got your entertainment inverter right here. You've got your switch for your WineGuard Road Trip Minimax satellite. You've got your uh, switch box right here to, to decide what you want to watch on each TV. This guy right here is a DVD VCR player, plays on both TVs. As we walk back here, I think these guys are both, both storage compartments. You've got a flip up table beside the recliner. Right here you just got your clock. In the entryway down here you've got an awning control down here. You've also got um, your uh, battery disconnect is down there as well. Fire extinguishers down there. You got your step control switch and some light switches here. Resettable GFI right here. As we move to the kitchen you've got your countertop extension. It flips down when the slides in. Gives you a little more room to walk back. Right here you've got removable sink covers. You've also got a handle here that comes out. Purified water dispenser. This coach also has a convection microwave oven, burner range, 
and an oven as well, conventional oven. So it's got all three. As we move back here, we've got the Norcold two-door refrigerator. It's got a built-in ice maker up top here. You've got two pull-out pantries, one right here and one on the other side right here. Above all the, the dinette and the magic bed, we've got a bunch of storage cabinets. The dinette folds down into a sleeper, so you can sleep somebody there. And right here we've got what's called the magic bed. It's all electric, flips down like that, and we're not gonna bring it all the way down, but it comes down to make a bed. You've also got cup holders right here. We're gonna walk towards the back of the RV now. Right here you've got your central control panel. Uh, you've got a whole bunch of goodies here. You've got your 110 volt water heater switch. You've got a water pump on and off. This is to run your LP part of your gas or of your water heater. Generator start and stop switch. You've got your energy management system right here. This button right here you push it up to see where your house batteries are at. Right now we're charging at 13 and a half volts. And you've got your engine battery by pushing down. We're at 12 and a half volts. Got a little light here, you got a small solar panel up there. When this is lit up, you're charging your batteries. Right here, you've got your different tank levels. Your black water, which is empty, your gray water empty, your fresh water, we're at two thirds, and your LP is full. Right here, you've got your True Air Residential Central Heating and Air Conditioning Control, okay? You've got it's your thermostat for inside here. You have cool, gas heat, and electric heat. So gas heat is your LP furnace and electric heat is your heat pump. You've got a high and a low fan speed and you've got an on and auto for the fan. Right here you've got a bunch of light switches. I'm gonna move back here to our glass shower enclosure with skylight. You've got a little hair, built-in hair dryer right here. Sink, medicine cabinet, just like that. Walk back to the bedroom. As we walk back to the bedroom on your right hand side here, you've got the extend and retract for the rear slide out. You've got a rear TV, little vanity station right here, lots of closet space back here. This is all one big open closet. This whole area right here and lots of drawers. You've got the sleep number bed right here. You see the remotes right up here. Okay. As we walk back up to the front of the RV, now I'm going to walk past you here. You've also got the privacy doors right here and the bathroom door doubles has your privacy door for the front. In here you've got your toilet and you've also got your toilet sprayer. Well that's it for the inside, quick and uh, quick and easy. Oh, we also got a fantastic vent up here in the bathroom. Alright guys, thank you.